G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev and welcome to my channel. Today I've come back to the old timers diggings that, that I was at on my last video. I've come back here and I want to do take more samples out of the the vein material that um, that they were working on. They've taken through the through the middle here, they've taken a, a large amount of rock away. Some of it's up on the waste pile. But um, they've do they've done a fair bit of work here, so it, it's only a small small deposit that they've dug out. But I just want to see if there's anything left, if they left left anything behind. So I'm going to take some samples of the vein and some of the the material, the decomposed material that's sitting at the at the base of the of the vein here. I'm going to scoop up some of that take it home, pan it out, and just see if there's any fine gold in it. Yeah, so I'll get you down here. I've got my Monster 1000 with me, so I'm gonna be running that around here as well. Up on the dump, I'll try up there. I'll try down here around the vein, and um, I'll just see if I can, if I can um, pick up any, maybe some bigger pieces of gold, yeah, with a bit of luck, or even uh, a high concentration of gold in the actual mineralized vein, yeah. Okay guys, I'll just bring this down a bit closer and I'll just show you what I'm up to. I'll just bring this down closer into the hole here. So you can see. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? I'll get back, back to you guys. Okay, if you look down in here, you can see there's a vein running through here. This vein here. Then you've got solid quartz vein here this is quartz and this is a alongside it is another vein of a, another material i don't know what it is it's like a decomposed granite or something that's a piece there i just pulled out it's white white clay type um material and that's alongside the quartz vein and then on the other side of the vein down here you've got some more of this decomposed uh, material here just here so there's your quartz vein there and then you've got this other material alongside it so I'll be sampling that and in here if I come back a bit you can see there's another vein that's another vein there so I'm gonna I'm gonna sample right across take um, a, a couple of bags sample bags and, and um, take some samples and down in the floor, down here, in the floor, I'm going to take some of this material as well. Because that's all, all this material here, has all decomposed and fallen down the bottom. So I'm going to take some of that, I'll take some of that home, and pan that out. And this other material, this um, vein material, I'll, be, I'll take some of that home, I'll crush it and pan it out and see if we get any gold. Yeah, so that's the plan for today, guys. Check this out, guys. I just dug this hole here. This is the waste pile, the mullet pile. And I've got a strong non-ferrous signal just there where I dug the hole. And this is what it was. This is copper. I think, I can't really read what's on it, something brand, something brand, so, and it's made out of copper, so I'll, um, I think it might be the, the top off of a, off a um, tobacco tin, I think that's what it might be, but it's made out of copper, so I'll take it home, I'll clean it up, and we'll see what it is. Okay, I um, I went over the mullet pile. I got, I picked up um, two pieces of blasting cap, a shotgun pallet, 
and I've got this target which is non-ferrous so we'll see what this is I think it might be another shotgun pellet maybe shotgun pellet or a piece of blasting cap There it is, there. The old buckshot. I'll put it in my hand so you can see it. The old buckshot. Yeah, the gadzi. Eat your heart out, mate. Okay. I've got to um I've got to take some samples from uh, out of here. So I better I better get into it because it's my wife's birthday today and she wants me to take her out to lunch, fair enough. So I'm gonna take bust in into this stuff, take some samples and I'll take it home. Okay guys. I'll be back shortly. Okay guys, I've taken a sample out of there, out of that rock there, all the dark, that um, dark material in the vein, I took a sample out of there, in the middle here, through the middle, you had this quartz, that's your quartz vein, but it looks barren, there's, it doesn't look like there's anything in it. So I'll bypass that and I've come across onto this side on the right hand side. So the quartz vein was in the middle. I've come across on the right hand side and I've taken some of this material. This rusty orangey coloured um, vein. It was actual vein running up alongside the quartz vein. But it's mineralised. See how it's all red and orange. So I've taken a sample of that. So I've got two samples. And um, I'll just show you up on the mallet, um, mallet pile um, another reason why I'm leaving this quartz behind. Okay, that's in the hole. That's down where I was digging, that took those samples out of the quartz vein. And if you look up on top of the mallet pile here, where I'm standing, look at all this quartz, guys. Heaps and heaps of quartz. See it all? all the way down the hill nice big chunk there but there's um all down this slope there's quartz and it sort of tells me that the gold wasn't in the quartz it was in the veins either side of the quartz that's that's my theory anyway so anyway i'll go home and um I'll process this material and see if we do any good. There's a mallet pile, there's all the quartz, all the waste material. And just over here, on the other side of this mound, or mallet pile, there's a big pile of rocks here, look. See all the quartz in it? A lot of quartz. There's a piece of quartz there with a bit of rust, rust in it, but it doesn't really look much. But um, yeah, so they've thrown all this quartz away on their way stump. So I'm thinking the quartz wasn't in the, uh, sorry, the gold wasn't in the quartz vein itself. I think it might have been uh, in the veins either side of the quartz, the decomposed vein. Look at this rock. This is uh, what they call nice. Those dark bandings running through the rock. Cool. I'll keep that. Okay, guys. I'll see you when I get back home. G'day, guys. I'm back from the bush. Well, it's the next day, actually. And I've got the samples organised. I've got 
two samples. This is one sample. I'll just show you the material. So this is one part of the vein that I that I took samples um, from. And uh, as I said when I was out, out there at the mine, I didn't take that any of the quartz. I just took the material that was either side of the quartz vein. So this is the second sample. This material, this is um it's a different rock again. As you can tell, it's, it's a sort of a white, rusty looking um, vein. So where that quartz vein um, was running, this material was on one side of the quartz vein and the other material I just showed you was on the other. So, and this looks more promising. Anyway, I'll just get the crusher set up and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, sample number one, pan number one. Let's see how we go with this light to see if I can show you some gold from from the old timers diggings. This would be interesting. Yeah, I um this is the second trip that I've I've been to this diggings. I found it a couple of weeks back now. I was out there wandering around and uh, yeah, and I just came across it. So I've got to go back out there and just have another scour around because there might be some more diggings in that area. More diggings that I haven't found yet. And uh, I'm just hoping to get to get onto one of them and just get, get a bit of gold. Um, Maybe even off their waste dump or out of the vein. Maybe they've left a bit behind. Anyway, guys, we'll have a look at this one, see if we get anything. That grey material, that, that looks like metal out of the crusher. I'll pick that up with the... Pick that up with the magnet. Yeah. I can't see any big bits there. There is sparkly bits at the back of the pan here. So I'll, I'll run a magnet over it and then I'll have a look under my jewels loop. I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number three of sample number one. And I'm seeing um, fine, material, uh, fine metal in the, in the pan when I pan it out. It looks, it looks like gold, but it's really fine. That's under the uh, jewelers loop. And I'm also seeing what looks like copper, uh, real small pieces of copper. So I've snuffed it up, and um, what I'll do is I'll empty the snuffer bottle out at the end, and, uh, and, and I'll just run the microscope over it, and because this is all about trying to see if there is any gold left behind. Obviously, I want to see pieces in the pan. You want to be able to visually see them. But Unfortunately, it still looks like it's only fine, fine gold, and uh, also some copper. Looks like pieces of copper. Yeah. So, and a as we know, copper and gold are associated with each other. So, if you find copper, you usually find gold. If you find gold, you find copper. Usually, anyway, not always.
Okay guys, let's see if I can show you a, show you a decent spec in the pan. I've been panning it back and then all that dark material you can see there, that's a lot of that's just metal from the crusher. So I've been running the magnet over it and just cleaning all, all the metal up. And just in here there's all little, yeah, super fine, I can see it at the back here now. Super fine bits of gold and, um, and copper, yeah. So, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get on with the next one. I'll get the next sample two happening. Okay, sample number two, pan number one, and that first sample, there was only, I looked under the microscope, and there was only just fine, just a few fine little specks of gold and, and some, um, some fine specks of copper. And th that was it, so that's not worth, worth my trouble. So anyway, hopefully this, this sample here will have something better. Otherwise, if not, I'll just move on. That's what you got to do. You just uh, test these these diggings out where the old boys have been. Test them. Just see, see if they've um, if they've left something behind. Because sometimes there might be good gold there uh, for these days, but back then it might mightn't have been enough. Anyway, let's have a look. No, can't see anything there, guys. I'll look under the jeweler's loop, but it doesn't look good. I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number three of sample number two. And, yeah, I'm seeing just fine specks, just really super fine specks of gold. But, uh, obviously, uh, the old timers, they, they didn't leave anything behind. Going on these samples that I've taken anyway, there's, there's just, um, yeah, really small specks, microscopic specks of gold in there, so... Obviously, the old timers um, got onto some good stuff and they've taken all the good stuff out and then they've moved on. They didn't leave anything for, for me. But maybe there's a working out there somewhere that they haven't fully cleaned out. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Hoping I can get onto something out there. I can see with the sunlight on, I can see there's little fine um, flashes on the pan, but some of it might be gold, but some of it's not. But it's really microscopic stuff, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll get onto the last pan. Okay, pan number four of sample number two. And yeah. Just fine material, guys. I'm under the jeweler's loop, I'm just seeing super fine specks, and not a real lot either. So, oh well, that's all right. I can, I can cross that spot off my list. And go and, go and find some more spots. Okay. My last chance to show you is a decent speck. A decent speck of gold, guys, that'll be good. I can see pieces of metal from the crusher. But no decent specks of gold. I can see a speck right there. It looks like gold. 
but it's, you wouldn't be able to see it. It's super fine. Okay, guys, I'll just I'll put the um, I'll dry this out. I'll put the pictures up under the microscope, and then I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, guys, um, yeah, not too good again. Um, I mean, there's gold there. I'll, I'll prove that by the microscopic um, specks that were in the pan, but it's not what I want. I want to find some bigger stuff. Yeah. So anyway, um, obviously the the old timers they found something there. Uh, to warrant all that work they did, digging all that dirt out and busting out of that quartz vein. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I'll go and try another spot. I'll hunt around, find some more workings maybe, or um, maybe I'll go back to one of the creeks and have a play in one of the creeks. I think that might be on the cards. I think. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. Cheers. It's a nice, beautiful day today. Okay, and I hope it's a beautiful day where you guys are. Take care out there, guys. Stay safe, be good, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.